What's up YouTube, it's JB Panther, back with a video. In today's video is actually another Star Wars news update video. Again, I have two, actually two Star Wars news. Again, this is going to be just one in one video. Because I'm not going to make a whole long thing about it and stuff like that. I'm going to pretty much put two, um, two news uh, videos in one. So I'm just going to let you guys know. Again, I will link both articles in the description box down below. So this comes from Deadline.com. Female-focused Star Wars series from Russian Dolls, Lindsay, Lizzie Land, Headland, and works at Disney+. Plus. Disney Plus is developing female-centered Star Wars series that will be written by her, a co-creator um, of Netflix Emmy winner drama Russian Doll. Deadline has confirmed <clears throat> the grist of the series. While the exact plot is under wraps, the series is understood to be a female driven action thriller with martial arts element set in an alternate timeline from the usual star wars universe disney declined comment on the project which was first reported by variety and makes the latest star wars disney plus original and the uh, success of mandalorian created by john favreau also on the way season three and you know season two and blah 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 and again it's kind of like and talk about obi-wan kenobi stuff like that i was going to give you my quick thoughts about this right with uh, Star Wars, this female Star Wars thing, again, <clears throat> I see some of her things, whatever. It seems that she's more, they said she's like an ultra feminist or Me Too movement or whatever it is. I'm like, I like Star Wars, I have very low expectations, to be honest with you. I mean, after the Rise of Skywalker, I'm just like, okay, cool, whatever. Only positive thing I feel like with Star Wars is Mandalorian, in my personal opinion. I'm ex I love Baby Yoda, I love Mando, I mean, we cool, blah, 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 I like him. But... This whole Disney Plus Star Wars female thing, I feel like it could be good. It could be bad. But I'm saying, like, with Disney, I have very low expectation with them. And with the way things are happening right now, um, Disney can't afford to be doing this SJW Me Too movement BS type crap. If it, it Unless it's a cool, badass type thing. But if you look at, like, some of her, like, work, she's done, like, you know, chick flicks. You know, um, um, I guess feminism, you know what I mean, like, it's, you know, a lot of, like, SJW type movies, like, The Last Night, and, like, she's written, like, more chick flick, like, girl power type stuff, so I don't know if that's how it's gonna translate to Disney+, Plus. but honestly, actually, it might be a good thing, because they could kind of do this on Disney+, Plus and it doesn't really bit them in the ass, because I guarantee you, if they would have done a whole big budget movie with it, it would kind of hurt them in the long run, but since they're doing it on Disney+, Plus. It might not even be that bad because um, they could control the numbers. You feel me? They could control if it's something's popular or something's not. Because if it's streaming, they kind of have control and know what numbers and stuff like that. Uh, if you do the movie, it's kind of like people kind of know if a flop, if it's a flop, if it does well, if it's success, if it does successful. But putting on Disney Plus is very safe. You don't have to really worry about as much stuff when it comes to box office, stuff like that. So they can keep it going as long as they want. But I feel like in my perspective, I'm not going to be, like, outraged. Like, all, like, a lot of these other YouTubers, they're being outraged. You know, like, oh, my God, female-led, you know, Star Wars, SJW, blah, blah, blah. Listen, we know what's going to happen. We know Kathleen Kennedy don't give a crap. We know Bob Iger. We know Star, really Star Wars. You know Lucasfilm. They don't give a crap. You feel me? They're going to do their SJW Me Too movement BS. And if people are going to rock with it, they're going to rock with it. A lot of the YouTubers, they're just covering just for outrage culture. With me, I'm just covering because, you know, I need some Star Wars uh, content on my channel, to be honest with you. And I'm not going to be super outraged and be like, oh my god, this is bad, this is good, this and that. You know what I mean? I'm just like, okay, it is what it is. If it comes out, it comes out. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. It is what it is. You feel me? I'm just like, okay, I expect... I have very, very low expectation when it comes to Star Wars. So, again, we'll see what happens. We can't really comment on it. We can't really be bitching and whining and complaining about, oh my god, if they're going to ruin it, this and that. If they, if it's bad, it's bad. If it's not, it's not. I mean, I guarantee you, they're going to cover a lot of these big, big Star Wars YouTube channels. They're going to cover the hell out of this Star Wars thing. Even though you guys are done with Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, you guys still spend your money to go see it. So it's kind of hypocritical. You're just using it just to be bitching and outrage and, you know, crying and just trying to give a shock value, you feel me? pretty much appeal to outreach culture so again it is what it is we'll see what happens and that's pretty much it for that part and the other part is pretty much mandalorian season three this is the one i really care about the most um let me get it let me uh get into it right now um I'm trying to say 
Yeah, so, um, with, uh, Mandalorian, yeah, I'll go back. Give me a second, because my phone's kind of acting up. Okay, so it says from Variety, uh, Mandalorian Season 3 is already in the works at Disney+. Plus. Uh, I guess they were live streaming or something like that. And of course, uh, October, you know, Season 2 was on Mandalorian, still far away. They pretty much finished it, they just got to do the editing. Sources close to the production uh, has confirmed that John Favreau has written Season 3 for a while. Damn, I can't believe... Dude, they knew this was going to be it. Uh, led by Lucasfilm Vice President and uh, Dong Chang has been creating concept for Season 3 for the past few weeks. We just started pre-production and looking into further for Mandalorian Season 3. In addition, other sources with, uh, with knowledge confirmed that the production design department working on Season 3 on April 20th. Wow, dude, Mandalorian is their hit. I don't care what anyone says. That is the best thing they got in Star Wars. You feel me? I don't give a crap. I love Baby Yoda. I don't care what y'all say. You know what I mean? Baby Yoda, Mandalorian, I love him. You feel me? To me, I'll be honest with you, right? I got that Baby Yoda poster right there. You know what I mean? I got a Mandalorian poster in my room. Um, I even got me a Baby Yoda toy. So whenever I get that Baby Yoda toy, I'm going to put it right here. Put that right there. You feel me? I'm going to be honest with y'all. You know, I just keep it one. So news of season three in the works comes just over a month after the production wrap of season two they already finished season two just despite of all the corona stuff like that they just got to do like uh visual effects editing stuff like that mandalorian was luckier than most shows as it managed to ran off production in early march just before the coronavirus place orders came in effect Favo and mando would be back for season two late uh tweet Season 1 ended with Mandalorian and Baby Yoda flying off, and it keeps going on and on. And it just, you know, talks about stuff we already know about. Again, <clears throat> I'm happy for John Favreau. Again, I told you guys before, I said before, listen, I know people say Mandalorian is, the, I'm not going to say it's, it's perfect, you know what I mean? I'm not going to say it's the greatest thing ever since Slice, but I feel like if you're comparing it to all the Disney Star Wars thing except Rogue One, it was really, really good, and it was really, really well seen. And I'm going to be honest with you, right? I love Mandalorian. I think Baby Yoda is the star. Like, I don't care what anyone says. Baby Yoda is that dude, man. He's the hottest guy on the Star Wars block. I mean, he's going to make them billions of dollars, to be honest with you. I think Baby Yoda is going to help Disney out a lot. And you know they're going to over flood the market with Baby Yoda. And Baby Yoda is that guy right now. You feel me? He's hot in these streets. He's hot in the Star Wars universe. He's the hottest thing in the galaxy. You know what I mean? But I'm saying, like, Baby Yoda... Uh, Mandalorian, I think that's the best thing they got so far. No one complained about it. I love how the ending where you had the black man with Dark Savior. Again, I loved it. You know what I mean? I don't mind seeing Mandalorian Season 2. I don't mind revealing it if you guys, Season 2, if you guys really want me to. But again, that's my only positive thing with Disney Star Wars. That's it. And again, that's not even really Disney. That's freaking John Favreau. And John Favreau is like a hardcore Star Wars fan. So he knew how to appeal to the hardcore fans and also get the normies involved. Because when Baby Yoda start doing the Force and the Will and all that crap with the fire, you're like, ah, what the hell? And it was like, yo, he sold on everybody, you feel me? So Baby Yoda... Uh, Mandalorian, they got it, they got the juice, they got the baton, and I can't believe they're already doing season three, that's how you know it's a hit, man, season three is on the works, man, they don't even know how season two, they're like, nah, season three, and I think season three is gonna be dope as well, but overall, I'm happy that, you know, Baby Yoda and Mando is back, and I'll be, fu I'll be funny if, like, if one, if they had done with the last season, and they kill off Baby Yoda. You know how much outrage bullshit they'll have. I mean, it, it will be chaos if Disney kills off or John Bravo kills off Baby Yoda. It would be demonic and so much backlash. It wouldn't even be funny. So again, that's pretty much the news. Tell me what you guys think about it. Uh, tell me what you guys think about the Disney Star Wars female series, whatever. Disney Plus. Tell me what you guys think about Mandalorian Season 2 and Season 3. Let me know in the comment section below make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe make sure you just you subscribe to this channel peace and have a great day and take care